Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to talk about why I prefer to code apps instead of websites. Okay, so tonight I'm coming to you from Central Oxford. I'm not usually in the town this late at night. Uh, but I had a Toastmasters meeting that finished a bit late, like a committee meeting thing that I'm on. And uh, so I thought I'd get the video done before the end of the day. So today I wanted to talk about why I prefer apps over websites as a developer. Right? Because for the last several years, I've been focusing mainly on apps and not so much doing websites. Although I do a little bit of web. And a lot of the app frameworks we use, like Ionic and Cordova, use web technology. So it's not like we don't use web. But... When people ask us if we could do a website for them too, a lot of times I'll say no or I'll refer them to a different company or we'll do it, but reluctantly. And the reason is, and it's not that they don't have the skills because, I mean, it's HTML. And sometimes they'll say, oh, you don't know how to do that? And, yeah, I do. I know how to do that. But, you know, here's one of the things that I really didn't like about doing web development, just doing straight web development, was supporting cross-browsers, right? It's something that now we're getting to the point where PWAs are coming back and we're looking at, we're doing more and more mobile websites. So we're getting back into that, you know, supporting all the different browsers, but it was something I really couldn't stand. Even working in investment banks and working in the enterprise, sometimes you have to support, you know, two or three different browsers and there'd always be one guy who says, oh, the site's not working. And he, and he found some, some back, back alley browser or something, even just something like Opera. He said, yeah, it doesn't work on Opera. He's like, Dude, why are you using Opera? Everybody else is using Internet Explorer. They're using whatever, Firefox, <laughs> using Chrome. And now the, now it's mostly Chrome. But you have to worry about all that kind of stuff. We recently had a project that went really badly because we were really – it was a web-based project. It was, I guess, my better judgment that we took it on. And uh, it was constantly you know, test. It, it was so, we spent so much time in testing the different browsers that it was almost not even worth doing. But – and even with Cordova, even with Cordova and Ionic, you're really just looking at mobile Safari and Chrome. You don't have to support all the other browsers or Edge, everything. So anyway, that's one of the reasons why I prefer apps. So when people ask, why don't you do, uh, why don't you do web too? You know, why don't you do uh, this? Why don't you do that? And the other thing. So because I've done that, I've been there. And you know what? I prefer the app thing. I prefer faster testing. Even Android, you have so many different Android versions but it's still easier to test on all those Android versions than it is all the different browsers. At least that's my experience. So my question for you guys tonight, today, is how do you find it? So, so you guys, a lot of you guys are app developers. Do you do web too? And which one do you prefer? Do you, I mean, we're actually going back to the point where we're doing websites again because of PWAs and, and, um, and mobile sites. But, uh, you know, what do you guys prefer, apps or, or, apps or websites? So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.